What's up guys, welcome to another Rock On episode and today I'm gonna show you how you can build a stunt bike. Our base for today is the brand new 2024 KTM 390 Duke that I'm using for many years, all the generations. And we got a lot of stunt parts here. So we have the brake parts, we have the transmission parts, an exhaust system and the stunt parts. So all of those parts are gonna go on this bike here. Building a stunt bike usually takes a few days time if you do it alone, but I'm here in China and I will have a support of the local crew uh, and we are getting ready for a big show. So that's why I will have people around me, I will not do it alone. Let's start wrenching. First we're gonna start to take off stuff that we don't need, such as the tail tidy, the passenger holders, the passenger footrest and some other little details. Next up, protection. We already added the aftermarket trash cage. Next thing, we're gonna add the rear sub cage and the front freestyle packs. And with this combo, your bike is completely protected. And not only that, you're adding also a lot of stunt trick options to your stunt game. Next up, the wheelie bar and similar to the sub cage, it protects the rear part of the bike and it also adds a lot of trick options. Lou, Log Ju, yeah, my friend Log Ju, he has such a fast hands, we don't need an electric wrench or how do you call it, impact wrench. Impact wrench. <laughs> The bike is now protected and next up is the double brake system. You need one foot brake and one hand brake to control the tricks while you are standing on the seat. And next we're gonna add also the sprocket. This is the 60 teeth sprocket, a huge one. And this adds more torque on the low speed tricks. We are taking down the stock chain because we have a bigger sprocket and that's why we need a longer chain. If you are building your own stunt bike or a custom street bike, we have some really cool parts for you from our brand and online store bagersperformance.com, all designed and produced in Europe. And if you want to know specifically what we use for parts in that video, we prepared a list in the description below, so go check it out. And now, back to ranching. Because you are braking with your hand brake just with one finger, you need more stopping power. That's why you need to upgrade the stock brake, which is 260 mm, with a bigger disc brake. In this case, we have a 280 mm. Way more stopping power and way easier to brake with just one finger. To finish up the double brake system, we need to add the long brake line and the hand brake. Next up, we're gonna swap the stock bars. Uh, with those ones, they have a flatter band and more straight, so you have a more wider hold on the bike. Gives you more stability and also more trick options. Double brake system is on, long brake line is also installed. The only thing is missing is the second brake pump combined with a clutch. This is gonna look like that, so we need to mount it now on the bike. We have brakes are done, handlebar is done, but where is the display? It's right here under the tank. Why I just don't simply 
disconnected because if I do it will show some errors and the bike will not run properly. It also interferes with the ECU. This is usually with the newer bikes and yeah we just put it somewhere that it doesn't interfere with your tricks. Next important stunt upgrade are the seats. We have the driver seat, stock one. Then we have an upgraded custom passenger seat with better hold for your butt. And where is the third seat? The third seat is the stunt tank. And if you can see, we cut away. It's usually like that. So we just cut it away, made a flat surface so where I can sit on it. And stand on it that lip it's there for to hold your butt so those are the three seats that every stunt rider needs and we're gonna put it now on the bike So quick overview what we've done to the bike. We added stunt parts such as double brake system, different handlebar, wheelie bar, sub cage for all the protection parts and also a bigger sprocket. And then we added also a different seats and a stunt tank and other little upgrades. And from this point on, you can choose if you wanna add a race exhaust for save the weight and also add a better sound or adding some style to the bike with your own graphic kits. Ladies and gents, that was the build, how you build a stunt bike and enjoy now my final KTM 390 Duke stunt bike.